Greetings, this is your host Tony of the Fundamental Forex blog. My blog name is Shark. This will be a presentation of the setup, execution, and results of a live Forex trade during the release of an important economic news report. I use a one minute chart for my trades. This is being brought to you by FundamentalForexBlogging.com. Today's video is a tale of the U.S. existing home sales report. This report was released on Monday, the 25th of October, 2010, at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. It is released monthly by the National Association of Realtors. Here is my trade setup using the Forex calendar from the website forexfactory.com with the actual pending button. Below that is a plan indicating my course of action when the actual report is known. And below that is my computer updated time. Now it's time for me to set up my market orders. First is my buy market order with a stop loss. Now my sell market order, also with a stop loss. I have jumped ahead a few seconds to watch my broker spread, which will increase about now. With just seconds before the report release, I am ready to press the button to get the actual report. Here we go, just about ready to go. It has taken about 19 seconds to receive the actual report of 4.53 million existing home sales, about 240,000, well above the forecast, and good for a buy entry as soon as the broker spread and slippage returns to normal. It appears broker spread and slippage have returned to normal. Notice the candlestick movement on the chart to the right. Time to trade. Notice the buy indicator on the chart. I need to reset my setup and I will re refresh the calendar to see if the previous has been revised. This video does not extend to my exit from the trade, but I have four currency charts at the end to show how the market moved for four different currency pairs, so keep watching. In the past, refreshing the Forex calendar to see if the previous release report had been revised, at times the calendar would blank out. This blank out was due to the ForexFactory.com website being overwhelmed with trading activity. So, I learned to wait a little longer before refreshing the calendar. ForexFactory.com has now all but eliminated this problem. The calendar may still blank out, but a smaller calendar of that particular news report returns, unaffected by the trading activity. A really good idea. I'm going to skip ahead to the charts here. Notice the previous has been revised. Here is the chart for the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar, which was the subject of my trade. It took about four minutes before my exit with about a nine or ten pip win. I would not have been stopped out if I had decided to remain in the trade until the market moved up 30 minutes later, or I could have entered more buy trades. 
The next chart is the euro versus the US dollar. As you can see, if you like trading the US dollar versus the euro, this news release offers some good scalping opportunities. Now the next chart is the British pound versus the US dollar. The British pound versus the US dollar also offered some good scalping opportunities with the US existing home sales report. The next and last chart is the US dollar versus the Japanese yen. If you study this chart closely, it is evident the US dollar versus the Japanese yen is not a good currency pair to trade with this news report. Now this may not always be the case, but my studies have revealed that the odds are not in favor of trading this currency pair when the US existing home sales report is released. Hey folks, thank you for watching this video. I hope it will be of some benefit to you. If you have some time, check out my blog at fundamentalforexblogging.com.